you guys remember Mike Pence, Donald Trump's former vice president, who has had literally so many different opportunities to get on the right side of history, and he has constantly, repeatedly, and will continue to die on this hill of him being probably one of the biggest pussies in American history. That's my opinion now. Uh, but last night, during the Republican debate, the Republican uh, presidential candidate debate, Mike Pence was asked by Dana Perino, he was asked if Obamacare was here to stay, and rather than answer the question, he goes on a tangent about mass shootings, and it's not even the fact that he doesn't answer the question or goes off on a tangent about mass shootings. It's what he says he would do if he were president of the United States, what he would put forth as a solution to mass shootings, to curb mass shootings in the United States. Um, I just, I, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. If you've seen this already, then you already know what he's going to say. This pretty wild shit, guys. Here it is. Well, first, let me speak to the mass shootings issue, and then I'll answer that question. It's an important one, Dana. Look, I'm someone that believes that justice delayed is justice denied. Cool. Instead of talking about what you believe in, how about you talk about um, the fact that guns violence is way worse in red states? We don't care about what you believe, Mike. And as a father of three, as a grandfather of three beautiful little girls, I'm going to... I am sick and tired of these mass shootings happening in the United States of America. And if I'm president of the United States... Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear what Mike Pence said? Mike Pence said he's tired of the mass shootings in the United States. Wow, Mike. Aren't we all? Aren't we all tired of the mass shootings? That was... Thank you. Thanks. No, I don't know anyone that, said, that hears about a mass shooting and they're like, Oh, boy! Another one! Yay! Yeah, thanks. Thanks for your input, Mike. I'm glad to know that... You don't like mass shootings. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to go to the Congress of the United States, and we're going to pass a federal expedited death penalty for anyone involved in a mass shooting. So anyone involved in a mass shooting? So if you're a victim of a mass shooting, then you get the death penalty? That's not fair, Mike. Come on. Come on. No, all jokes aside, um, Mikey, can you please tell me how more death is going to stop? H how is... Death gonna stop death. Can you explain this to me? That's like, oh God, I can't remember who it was now. Judge Janine. That's like Judge Janine saying that we need to look at the shooters before they commit the shooting. What do you want to do? Do you want to invent a fucking time machine and go back to before it happened and arrest the person that did it? The death penalty is not gonna, how is that gonna stop the fucking shootings? A bunch of these people that commit these shootings fucking end up killing themselves or they get killed by the responders anyway. What kind of a fucking solution is that? That's fucking crazy. I'm 100% against the death penalty if anyone was wondering. Just unabashedly. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't see how that makes sense. I think that you can be re rehabilitated as a human being. That being said, you know, I don't think America and our... Um, legal system, you know, conservatives like to call it a justice system. I don't think America and our legal system is really, uh, you know, set up to rehabilitate people in a way that, you know, uh, after they are released, then, you know, they're not going to, you know, uh, be a repeat offender. Uh, then again, though, um, you know, we have other problems, not just within our prison system, but after they people get out, you know, if you're a convicted felon, you can't even get a job at McDonald's, really. They don't hire felons at McDonald's. Um, all that being said... I don't I, I just I know that this is d a debate and uh, but I, I don't know if anyone called him out because I didn't watch the whole debate in its entirety. But I just I don't understand how the fuck that is going to stop the shooting. What how is that going to stop the shooting, Mike? How is you going to the Congress? I'm going to say it in his own words, going to the Congress and passing an expedited death penalty bill for anybody that is involved in a mass shooting. Number one, I don't think that's gonna pass. Number two, just please explain it. Please explain it. How is that gonna stop the shooting from happening? Mike says that he doesn't like mass shootings. Well, no one likes mass shootings, but Mike, when he talks about mass shootings, doesn't wanna talk about the fact that there are more guns in this country than there are people. There's 333 million people here. There is 400 and like 30 million guns. That doesn't make sense. Mike doesn't want to talk about the fact that kids 
or uh, excuse me, firearms are the number one leading cause of death among adolescents. That's a fucking problem, Mikey. These conservatives and everybody, really, instead of addressing the fucking issue, and you guys can, I've shown the science so many goddamn times. It's getting frustrating at this point. I've shown the science so many fucking times. More guns equals more homicide. Look at what other countries have done to curb mass shootings. Australia is a great example I like to use. Japan is another great example. They don't even have shootings in Japan. Both those countries are great examples. They don't have mass shootings in those countries because they have very, very, very strict gun laws. That's, that's the, that's, that is the solution to the mass shootings, is gun control. It's not fucking death penalty. It's not fucking building a goddamn closet in a fucking classroom that's bulletproof that the teacher has to run over and pull out and put all the kids in. It's not buying your kid a fucking bulletproof backpack. Yeah, that stuff's going to help. But that's this. I don't understand why we're doing Band-Aid solutions. It's not going to have none of these things are going to have a long term effect at curbing mass shootings. They're not. And Mike Pence's shit is just off the wall fucking crazy. When we're at this point where you have to say something like, I'm going to pass an expedited death penalty bill for anyone involved in a mass shooting. Don't you think that there's a bigger issue here? Because the conservatives would say, it's a mental health crisis. Yeah, we have mental health problems in this fucking country. That's no doubt. But they never, will never acknowledge that it's the goddamned guns. It is the fucking guns that fucking make these tragedies happen. What's the one common denominator in every fucking shooting? It's a gun. It doesn't matter who's doing it. It doesn't matter what fucking race or gender or whatever, or whatever the conservatives want to complain about, sit there and say about. The one common denominator across every goddamn fucking tragedy like this is a fucking firearm. That's a fact. It's an undeniable fucking fact. Also an undeniable fact, I already said it once, guns equal homicide. It's just true. And I don't want to hear the self-defense bullshit because science also proves that other types of self-defense that aren't firearms, bat, mace, pepper spray, a, f a whip maybe if you're fucking really crazy, are all just as good deterrents as uh, having a gun. That they, they will meet their fate in months, not years. It is unconscionable that the, the, uh, the Parkland shooter, Ron, is actually going to spend the rest of his life okay. behind bars in Florida. What is... I mean, I don't... I don't... Again, I don't understand... H how is you killing Nicholas Cruz as the, uh, the Parkland shooter? How is sentencing Nicholas Cruz... What, how, what does that help? How does that help? How does that... If Mike, if really, if it's what you care about is curbing mass shootings... How is putting Nicholas Cruz to death going to stop mass shootings? He's already behind bars for the rest of his life. It's, that does it, it's not going to make a difference, Mike. I want to fucking grab him by his ears and shake his fucking head and scream at him. You're fucking stupid. That's not justice. God. We have to mete out justice and send a message to these would-be killers. That... I, I just... My brain can only handle so much conservative shit propaganda in one sitting before it just fucking melts. You are not going to live out your days behind bars. I appreciate You're going to meet that. justice in this system. But does that mean yeah, nice. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike Pence. That totally wasn't the most insane, batshit, crazy thing ever. And you can even hear Dana Perino at the end because they cut it off because this is actually a clip Mike Pence posted himself. <laughs> He got asked, uh, is Obamacare here to stay? And then that was his response to if Obamacare is here to stay. And you can hear Dana at the end right here You're literally saying, well, that's not, I mean, are you going to answer the question? He's behind bars. You're going to meet that. justice in this system. But does, that mean but does that mean Obamacare is here to stay? Yeah, that's what, that was her uh, reiterating the question that she asked him because he totally just didn't fucking answer the question, which is classic Republicans, you know, dodging questions. They're, they're experts at it, um, but they're also really, really bad at it at the same time. That's going to be it for the video. Guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, go down in those comments, and let me know what you thought of Mike Pence's brilliant, absolutely brilliant idea to stop mass shootings. Um, share the video if you like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.